welcome back once again in our previous tutorial we set our data to our firebase database and in this part we will set our expense data so for doing this first we need to create one more method we can call it public void we can call it expense we can call it expense data insert And now we need to add a alert dialog and we can call it alert dialog.builder. So alert dialog.builder. And this one is going to be my dialog. Is equal to new alert dialog.builder. Get activity. And now add a layout inflator. Inflator is equal to layout inflator dot from get activity and now we need to create an object of view my view is equal to inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot custom layout for insert data and second parameter is going to learn and we are using here same layout because we need same type of data so we don't need to change it so my dialog dot set view is going to be my view. So we added same layout that is our custom layout for insert data and we can also use use this for expense data. Now alert dialog dialog is equal to new alert dialog. Now we need to add edit text amount is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot edit tag amount edit now edit text is equal to type is going to be my view dot find view by id r dot id dot type edit and edit text Note is going to be my view dot find view by id r dot id dot note edit now we need to add button so button save is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot button save now button cancel is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot button cancel Now we need to add set on click listener. So button save dot set on click listener new on click listener and for button cancel we also need one more set on click listener and in here we can dismiss our dialog when we will click this cancel button and we need to show our dialog so dialog dot show and it it uh, now in here we need to add get activity so we create a alert dialog and we added this one And we need to define it final, otherwise, it will give us an error. So, define your alert dialog for final. And in here, we need to create my dialog dot create, not new dialog. And now this one is good.
and it should be defined as final so define it final now i think all done now we can set our data inside our button set set on click listener so create a string variable a string Account we can call it tm amount is equal to amount dot get text dot to string dot trim and string tm type is equal to type dot get text to string dot trim And a string tm node is equal to note dot get text dot to a string dot trim now we need to add if condition for Required field so text utilt dot is empty and we can call it tm amount and now we need to add a, now we need to set a message so amount dot set error we can call it required field and return add another if condition if text utilt dot is empty and this one is going to be for tm type now we need to set a message so tm type dot set error so type dot set error and we can call it required field and return and create another if condition if text utils dot is empty and add tm node and we can call it node dot set error is going to be required field And return so which we, we added three if condition for our three input field now we need to we need to call this method inside our express button so this one is our express button expense floating button so call this method here now hit this run button so here is our apps now click this expense button and we can see our custom dialog and see still we need to solve some design issue when we click this button and in our animation still our our floating button is visible so we need to invisible it so what can we do we can simply we need this to this if and else condition so we can uh, we can simply copy this one and we need to add all those things inside our so better is we can create a new method and then we can call this method so we can call it floating button animation just comment out and add private void ft animation And copy this one and paste it here same line of code and now we need to call this method why do we want to show this animation so we want to show this animation when user will click this 
save button and cancel button and this expense button so open this expense fragment and when user will click this cancel button then we want to we want to remove this floating button and when user will click on the save button we also want to remove this one and we can call it here and same thing for income database so add it here so we just create a method inside this method we added our animation code and we just now we know and we are now calling this method here so now hit this run button once again now click this button and if we click this icon and if we click this cancel button and if we click this okay we'll open it again and if we click this cancel button we can see this is gone and if we click this save button and got okay now add some data add some random data just for checking so click save and now gone so it's working and for expense and when we click outside then we can't then it, it, it is not disable so what can we do so now if click on save and it shows us required field and then how can we solve this issue and we need to do something and inside this income database we need to call dialog dot set cancelable false that means user should click on any of this button and for this expense in here we need to add dialog dot set cancelable false that means if they click outside of this dialog our uh, dialog box will not be invisible so they should be click on this cancel button and then this will be visible so click this so run again and here is our application now click this icon and open and if you click outside then no then click cancel then okay then click cancel then okay so i think all functionality done so that's it for this part we will continue with from next part thank you